hello beautiful and welcome back to my channel if you're new here hello and welcome my name is Mawahib in today's video I want to burn test the eco olive wax with you guys I made uh, the eco olive candles I think about two weeks ago now I'll link the video down below if you guys haven't seen it but without further ado let's burn test the eco olive candles first I will burn for my eco olive candles really excited to burn it with you guys and it's currently 6.30 in the evening, right after work. It will literally set the mood right now for me. And of course I have to light the wooden wicks. Let me bring you closer. And I'll see you back in a little bit. First hour burn my beautiful people. Let me just bring this closer. As you guys can see, the wick is tunneling slightly, but I do like the flame height on the um, wick. Also love the crackle on the wick, if you guys can hear that. I hope you guys can hear that. I can't smell a hot throw on the, on the candle. I don't know, maybe I have poured my fragrance oil too hot, maybe in my next round. Or burn testing I will need to um, pour my fragrance at a lower temperature but I can't smell the uh, fragrance in the room unfortunately I will give it another hour it is too early to judge for now but I do think the wick is struggling a little bit you guys as well it looks like it's great in a tunnel here so it's not burning the wax evenly but let's move on to the other candle this is definitely tunneling you guys my flame looks like it's about to switch itself off this is not working at all no hot throw in the room it's just a very poor candle to be honest with you um, as you guys can see I mean I can't sugarcoat it it's a very poor candle I definitely need a bigger wick probably like two times the size of the wick that I have now but yeah this is the first hour burn and I'll check in with you guys for the second hour burn second hour burn the crackling of this wood wick is just so cozy it honestly sets the mood and the tone for tonight especially after work but um i can't say the same about the performance of the candle unfortunately the candle is definitely tunneling i don't have a hot throw in my bedroom at all it's literally like i'm not even burning a candle in the room the flame height is good though i don't feel like it's going to switch itself off but it's still not the right wick for the candle oh you guys i feel like i should have poured my fragrance at a little bit of a lower temperature so probably at 60 degrees but that's okay it's all trial and error. Let's go check on the other candle. As for the other candle, there's literally no change, no hot throw. The candle is tunneling. It's just not the best um, wick for this wax. I This this burn test is not really successful, is it? But that's okay. That's the reality behind candle testing. It's not always going to be a successful one you are going to have challenges like i'm having challenges right now i'm just glad that i can share that with you guys so you know that you're not alone either when you are testing your candles and you do come across candles like these where they're not working candle testing takes a lot of trial and error and keep going and don't give up but for this instance you guys i'm not gonna be filming this candle anymore there's no point because it's going to be the same for the next two hours. I'll stick to the wood wick candle, which is doing a little bit better than the cotton wick candle. And I'll check in back with you guys on the third hour burn. Third hour burn, here we go. So the candle has made some progress. I can see that the wax has melted around the corners here. There's only a little bit left. I'm actually really happy with the flame height of the uh, wick. And I, I'm also really happy with how loud the crackling is. I can smell a hot throw, but it's not as strong as I would like it to be. But I'm really looking forward to also seeing how it sets as well after I finish my burn testing, which I will show you tomorrow. Um, because I remember when I was burn testing this wax, um, I, would, I would see bubbles on the hard wax the next day. So I'm hoping that that doesn't do that and moving on to the second one I decided to bring it over to my bedroom because it just wasn't giving off a hot throw there's no point of keeping it in my sister's bedroom there's no difference here to be honest it is really struggling all right beautiful people here is for the last hour burn it's literally 10 30 right now and I am ready to go to sleep because I have work tomorrow but to do the regular checks again really happy with the flame height for this woodwick 
a little bit of candle residue is still left on the sides of the jar but that will burn through since now the candle is actually burning slightly hotter i can definitely smell more of a hot throw now uh which is a little bit too late for me to be honest i'd love to smell the hot throw in the first two hours of my candle burning but um the candle's getting hotter at this point and the melt pool's getting warmer so i can smell the fragrance a little bit better but for now i'm gonna have to turn my candle off because i cannot leave it on while i'm sleeping and i am going to switch this off too and good night you guys i will see you tomorrow it's been a few days since i filmed for you guys but i really want to show you the tops post burn and as you guys can see the woodwork discolored the wax a little bit and i actually have very very little bubbles around the melt pool if you guys can remember in my last video i said that with eco olive um it creates lots of bubbles in the melt pool but i do have quite a bit of it but not as extreme as when i first tested it out which is great as you guys can see here i think the camera's picking up a few bubbles here and i think it goes around you guys can see around the um around the candle wax but i am ready to give this a trim i'd actually love to burn it again i won't be doing the second round of burn testing with you guys or else this video will be very long i just want to show you my cotton wick which unfortunately is the wick is very very tiny for my candle jar i literally had my heater on in my bedroom and then my candle started sweating you guys um, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but I can see it. The candle's sweating around here. And that is it for my burn test video with you guys today. I hope I gave you a bit of an idea of how the Eco Olive worked with me. It was a very easy wax to work with, but when it comes down to burn testing any type of wax, you do need to go through several wicks. But unfortunately for today's video, I've only given you a wood wick and a cotton wick. And the, and the cotton wick did not work as well as I thought it would. The TB16 was too small for my candle jar and I believe my wood wick as well was a little bit too small I needed to wick up for both of them which is why I think as well I didn't get the hot throw that I wanted from my eco olive wax it definitely needs a lot more testing than just one video for it so so sad about my TB16 I, I couldn't smell it it wasn't burning it's struggling for day life and my and my woodwick candle i could literally start smelling the hot throw towards the end of my burn cycle which is not what i want from my candle i'd like to ideally smell the hot throw in the first hour and a half two hours of it burning i want to turn this candle on because i literally spent last night i came home from work and I spent the evening deep cleaning my room and it's only perfect for me to light a few candles in my bedroom. Now I know I might not be able to get a strong hot throw but still a candle burning in the room is just a completely different vibe. I love the crackle of the wick. Can you guys hear? It's just so beautiful to hear. This is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed filming it for you. Please make sure that you click on that subscribe button down below. Give this video a huge thumbs up. Comment down below on what videos you'd like to see from me in the future. And don't forget to turn your post notifications on so you guys can get notified every time I post a new video. With that being said, have a lovely weekend, a great week, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.